Hello, this video is about ChatGPT as a virtual assistant to SAP Business One. You heard it right. Now you can use ChatGPT as a virtual assistant to SAP Business One. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. We are not talking about integrating ChatGPT with SAP Business One, which definitely is a very expensive and time-consuming process. On the other hand, we are going to maintain ChatGPT and SAP Business One as two different systems and still see how ChatGPT can be used as a virtual assistant to SAP Business One. My name is Raman and I am from a company called Emerging Alliance, an SAP authorized channel partner since 2010. In my experience of working with more than 500 plus company for the past 25 years, I've come across a lot of SAP implementation, which has been a great success, at the same time has been a great flop. Now, I'm gonna compress my 25 years of experience in giving you an expert opinion and advice of how ChatGPT can be used as a virtual assistant to SAP Business One. The pain point when it comes to SAP Business One is that a user or a consultant cannot master the entire SAP, at least not in one lifetime, because the features and functionalities available in SAP is so vast that it's totally impractical to have it mastered. So we always need an SAP Business One expert as an assistant. Adding to the problem, we want them at any point of time when we are facing a problem with SAP Business One, so that the expert can advise on the tips, tricks, know-how, where what is available, what to do, what not to do, where to go and find certain menus and all of that. And for all the viewers, let me tell you that you are not alone in this problem. There are millions and millions of users and consultants who are in the same kind of problem that you are facing today. Before I dive deeper into the video, let me just categorize the users of SAP into three broad categories. The first one is end users. By end user, I would mean people who perform day-to-day -day transactions on SAP Business One. And please note, this category holds 90% of all the users. Then we have the functional consultant and support consultant category who handle configurations, user training, implementation, support, and so on. And finally, technical consultants who are involved in coding, writing programs, enhancing, developing, or customizing the standard SAP Business One. Let's see how ChatGPT can help each of these users group, starting with the end users first. The first point where ChatGPT can be used as a virtual assistant is finding the menu path. There are so many features and functionalities and menus available in SAP Business One. Remembering each of them is going to be very difficult and it can be overwhelming even for a seasoned end user. And you can imagine what would be the state of mind for people who are new and occasional. So in these cases, you can always go to ChatGPT and you can ask specific questions on menus and menu path in your own natural language or English language. For example, ChatGPT, I want to create a SO or sales order in SAP Business One. How do I start it? Where is the menu available? And how do I go to the menu? And what are the mandatory fields I need to fill? and how to complete the transaction. And the guidance which is given by ChatGPT is something that you can follow to complete the entire transaction. Now this saves a lot of time for SAP Business One users who if do not have an idea of where to start and how to finish, they can basically take the help from ChatGPT. The second place where ChatGPT can be used as a virtual assistant in SAP Business One is identifying the correct report or getting to know the menu path of the correct report. Now SAP Business One has a lot of reports, approximately 200 to 300 standard reports available. Remembering them all and knowing all of their menu path is going to be very difficult. So in these cases, you can ask ChatGPT like, where can I get to see list of pending orders? Or where can I get to see list of pending invoices? And ChatGPT should tell you something like, so under the sales menu, there is something called as report. In report, you will have open sales order or open invoices. So you can just go through the menu path and exactly land up in the place and find the report for yourself. The third point or place where ChatGPT can be used as a virtual assistant in SAP Business One is in executing a transaction. Now, the transactions are so very many in SAP Business One that for an experienced user or new user, they might sometimes get into a situation that, where they are not able to execute the transaction or complete the transaction. In these cases, you can basically ask ChatGPT 
of how to finish a particular transaction like give me a step by step explanation of how to finish an ar invoice in sap business one and you get the complete guide use the guide to basically do a complete execution of ar invoice in sap business one and while posting the transaction if you're getting any error message then copy that error message and paste it back into chat gpt to ask what is the resolution or what needs to be done to get rid of that particular error and you'll get an answer for that also the fourth point where chat gpt can be used as a virtual assistant in sap business one is training new users when it comes to sap business one a new user can learn sap business one either by being trained by an experienced person or by looking at the manuals both of which is a very difficult path to take so the new users can now use chat gpt to basically ask those questions which i just mentioned and try to understand how to execute a transaction and go to a dummy system or a sandbag system and execute the transaction as guided by chat gpt and learn from that now this is a very strong use case of chat gpt used as a virtual assistant when it comes to training new workforce on sap business one the fifth place or point where chat gpt can be used as a virtual assistant to sap business one is analyzing a report now sap business one has many complex report that runs in pages together has many columns many rows for the entire data to be crunched becomes very very difficult now in these cases what you can do is you can export those reports into csv or an excel format and upload into chat gpt provided you have a paid version of chat gpt 4 pro the upload option is available upload the excel and it'll take some time for analyzing the excel once the analyzing is over you can start asking your questions with regards to that particular data set available in excel in your natural english language and you should be getting about 85 to 95% accurate answer on those questions that you have now we'll go to the second category of users which is consultants we'll consider predominantly the functional consultant and the support consultant who help to implement and who help to support a system like sap the first and the foremost use case of chat gpt as a virtual assistant for sap is guidance for configuration now definitely the prompt here matters a lot by prompt i would mean the way you ask the question on configuring certain things in sap to chat gpt is a prompt so it'll take some time for you to arrive at a prompt but once you have arrived it you can use the same template to get various configuration questions answered from chat gpt so you want to configure a certain module configure a certain feature you can always ask that all your riders and class to ensure that you get the exact configuration that you required once you've done the configuration please try to run the features and functionalities and see if you're facing some errors and if you have any errors have that asked as a question to see what changes that needs to be made to the configuration the second use case when it comes to chat gpt being used as a virtual assistant for sap in case of functional and technical consultant is prepare in the training material now chat gpt is a great tool for preparing tailored made training material for the users so you can basically give a use case scenario of how a specific customer basically does a transaction and based on that scenario you can ask chat gpt to prepare a training material and if chat gpt misses a certain aspect of training material you can always ask those aspects to be added and it will give you a very detailed training material which can be documented and printed and can be given to your users a word of caution before you hand it over to the user please make sure that you execute the training material to see if it's properly done and then you can hand it over to the user the third use case is using chat gpt to prepare user acceptance testing template uat template now this is a very tedious task for an implementation consultant or a support consultant to basically do because this particular template or this particular excel sheet uat excel sheet is very detailed in nature so you can always go to chat gpt and you can say for a particular transaction what are the uat parameters that you want to check what are the uat parameters that you want to get listed and you can ask chat gpt to prepare an uat test document the last use case in this particular section is preparation of user manual i did tell you that 
preparation of training guides a preparation of training guide is something that you do it for a particular training program or for a particular person to be trained now when it comes to user manual the, the implementation consultant has to make a user manual which is very specific and tailor made to a specific company scenario so in that case proper instructions can be given to chat gpt that for a particular feature or functionality or a transaction code what are the fields that needs to be filled what are the mandates that needs to be followed these can be mentioned and a user manual which is specific tailor made for a particular can be made similarly when it comes to a support consultant if there's some new feature that the support consultant is adding or training the user or if there's some configuration changes which he is making because of which the way in which a transaction is executed is going to change and he wants to prepare a manual that can be given to the end user in that case he can use chat gpt to create that particular user manual now what is happening is he has to manually write a user manual with various screenshots and stuff like that so that is something that you can hand over to chat gpt now the third category that we are going to look for is how chat gpt can be used as a virtual assistant for sap business one for the technical consultants the first and the foremost use case for technical consultant is he should be using chat gpt for arriving at the query or the customization codes that he is writing in SAP Business One. Now, the most critical aspect in this is how you structure your prompt. Now, there's no standard prompt structure available that will suit everybody. So you can arrive your own prompt structure, which might take two or three iterations. And once you go through those iteration, you'll have a final iteration, which will give you the answer closest required. And then on, you can use this prompt structure to get multiple queries or customization codes for SAP Business One from ChatGPT. The second place, where in SAP Business One, ChatGPT finds use cases with technical consultant is fine-tuning of the customization codes or queries. So you have the query which is given from ChatGPT. You try to execute in your customization in SAP Business One or in your reports, query reports, and you see that you get a result. And the result is not the desired result. There's something wrong. Explain that something wrong to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to eliminate that particular mistake and you will see that there will be a fresh set of codes which will be available or query which is available. Then deploy that back into SAP Business One to see if the desired result is coming. Now this might take a few iterations before you get the desired result. The third place for technical consults where you can use ChatGPT is once again preparation of UAT documents. Now based on the customization that you have built or the query that you have built, you can ask ChatGPT to prepare a detailed UAT template and it will give you one based on which can be handed over to the customer for doing the UAT. Now having given this explanation, there is a word of caution, especially for technical consultants and for implementation support consultants. Now, what ChatGPT gives definitely requires a human intervention to choose and pick what is correct and what is wrong. So you will have to be a bit iterative in nature for using chat GPT when it comes to configurations, when it comes to code creations or fine tuning of codes. Chat GPT has immense potential to revolutionize how users access SAP and interact with the system. Whether you are an end user, a functional consultant, a technical consultant or a support consultant, Chat GPT can act as your virtual assistant, enhancing productivity on one side and reducing complexity on the other side. Now, there might be a lot of SAP users, technical, functional consultants, and even end users who might already be doing what I said in this particular video. But I'm sure for a lot of people who haven't known what I've explored in this particular video would be of an immense help for you. Please go ahead and try using ChatGPT as a virtual assistant for SAP. And there's no limitations on how you can use ChatGPT as a virtual assistant. Do let me know if you need any further details on this particular topic. Our contacts and coordinates are available in the description below. And we'll be more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one with you to help you out on how to use ChatGPT as a virtual assistant for SAP. Thank you and look forward in meeting you in one more video on SAP.